Welcome back to Squawk Box. Financial markets trying to find their footing in a week that saw bank failures and slightly cooling inflation. So as we look ahead to a Fed meeting next week, or the Fed meeting, I should say, did the SVB collapse prove that rate hikes are going too far? Big question. Who to blame? John Ford is here to weigh in. Hey, Andrew. Uh, yes, these bank failures show it's time for the Fed to pause, maybe even cut rates. I mean, the whole point of raising rates is to cool things down, get less money gushing through the economy. One way to do that is to get banks more afraid to lend, which is where we are with this instability. So how do we get here? Well, Silicon Valley Bank took in a ton of deposits in the first year of the pandemic and locked that money up by buying too many bonds that take years to mature. But then, as the Fed quickly raised interest rates and the economy slowed, SVB's depositors had a lot less money to put into the bank and needed to pull out a lot more, which was a problem because, remember, SVB didn't have it in the safe. They used it to buy bonds that now they had to sell at a loss. Nobody likes to hear that banks running out of money, so we got a bank run. But this isn't over. Rate hikes are pressure on the economy, and SVB was just one of the first institutions to crack. If the Fed raises rates again Wednesday, more surprising cracks will probably appear, and they might be the kind you can't fix with weekend rescues, Andrew. Okay, but hold on. Can the Fed, in your mind, just pause the rate hikes just because banks are feeling pain? I mean, didn't say that Powell, didn't Powell say that pain was part of all of this and isn't his credibility at stake? Well, Andrew, on the other hand, these bank problems aren't a reason to stop hiking. Maybe to go a quarter point next week, but not stop, because the banking system overall is healthy. Are there some edge cases where banks made easy money bets that look bad in a tough Fed world? Well, yes, but what did we expect? That every institution was perfectly disciplined on the way up? Let's face it, there's a certain group of stock investors who have been saying the Fed was going too far since the first 75 basis point hike, that inflation was fixing itself, that the Fed was driving us off a recession cliff. Well, stubbornly high inflation and tight labor markets suggest maybe the Fed's path has been a little fast and furious, but not quite Thelma and Louise. A couple weeks ago, a lot of folks seemed to think we were headed for a soft landing or no landing. Remember that? Nobody likes pain or at least not this kind, but uh, this is what Jay Powell warned us was coming when he said, this is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Wait, no, he, he said higher interest rates will, quote, bring some pain to households and businesses. These are the unfortunate costs of reducing inflation, but a failure to restore price stability would mean far greater pain. 